Hi guys, so um, I know my setup looks a little bit different, but it, the sun's already starting to go down, so that's kind of why I'm doing this with my desk lamp lighting. I'm just going to be trying out some products that I ordered from Amazon. Super excited to try them out. I'm going to try out the Super Stay by Maybelline, and this is full coverage. And then I'm trying out the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. I already used it you know, to clean up my brows and uh, on my lids. And I got the shade Light Vanilla. And then for this one, I got the shade, I think, Sand Beige. The last thing that I ordered from Amazon was I wanted some really, really inexpensive dramatic lashes. And you guys can see, I forgot the name of the ones that I that um, these are, but they were only $8 and it's six pairs of them. I think it's such a, such a good deal especially because of how dramatic they are. Now let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I'm super excited to try something new out today and then maybe do something a little bit colorful but still glam. The primer that I always use is always the same. I always use the CoverGirl ones and this one's the um, True Blend Base Business in Moisturizing. I don't recommend the mattifying one, at least if you have dry skin like me, because it's gonna make um, the product cling in certain places like really really badly and then you guys always know that I'm always using um, fresh as moisturizer the face creams and stuff I love these fresh products I'm literally almost out I'm super super sad and of course my fresh glow water I always use this and then I usually kind of let that sink in before I start doing anything else so now we're gonna go into the foundation this is really, really full coverage. I'm noticing now that even like, I only use one pump, but this is really nice. Wow, look at that. All right, um, this is how it looks. Sorry, the lighting keeps changing, but yeah. And then um, I'm gonna zoom a little closer. Um, wow, I really like it. And the next is Milani Concealer in Light Vanilla. I wanted to make sure that I, I got a lighter one um, with a more of a golden undertone, since that's what I have. And it does um, look to be a good shade for at least highlighting a little bit. I might end up mixing it, but I'm going to apply one one dip squares underneath and then show you guys how it looks i let it sit for a little bit i'm just gonna be using the same br the same blush the same brush to blend it out and i'm just gonna really go in i may have used a bit too much <laughs> all right so you guys can see it literally just blended right into that foundation as far as acne goes I can't really be a good gauge for how it, well it would cover it because I don't really have anything right now but it's really good this is a covergirl translucent powder in the shade banana highly highly recommend everyone that I've done like all of my friends when I've done their makeup and I've used this <clears throat> they always ask me what I use on their face because it actually lasts so long and it's this powder. I feel like I owe it all to this powder. Anyways, I decided I wanted to watch 100 Days of Summer because honestly, it, it's so weird how the first time that I watched it, to be fair, I was young and I didn't really fully watch the whole thing. Um, but I remember that I was so upset for, what is the main character's name? Tom? I forgot, but I felt so bad for him until I realized that he was kind of he kind of set himself up to have these you know expectations for her it was kind of like his own he was projecting um the expectations that he was having onto her um just because you know she's a cute girl and she had the same taste in music and I was so like stuck on feeling bad for him and then I realize I'm like why is it like it's not her fault that she wasn't what he wanted her to be 
I feel like there are some movies like that, like that one and also The, the Devil Wears Prada. Oh, the other one. Oh my gosh. The other one that upset me so much was um, He's Just Not That Into You. Um, pretty much the whole gist of it is different relationships happening, but um, and different like scenarios happening and there was this one that frustrated me so much i think it was bradley cooper who played him you know he has his wife at home and he keeps like what's the word what's the word called gaslighting her so he keeps putting her in situations where she's questioning um where he's been at and he just like kind of gaslights her um and she feels she ends up feeling bad she ends up being the one to feel bad but he's the one who's actually cheating and all of that and then on top of that he had been um smoking which was a little bit of like a i feel like it, it represents the small annoyances that you have with your partner that you know may not be as big of a deal but they kind of are if you're lying about it and so he was also lying about not smoking and so her paranoia grew more and more. I remember watching it when I was little. And I was just like, why is, you know, like, she's such a, mm, you know, like, I kept thinking so badly about her. But I'm like, she's the one who's being gaslit. Of course, she's going to act the way that she does. Because she thinks, you know, like, she's kind of like, he's making her, in a way, go crazy. Yeah, the whole point was, um, when I was younger... I don't know, was it internalized misogyny? I don't know. But I used to think that she was such a bad, um, so mean and stuff. And why was she like that? And I'm like, the whole, it's like, it's there. Like, it's in front of your eyes. What can you not see? So yeah, I get so frustrated watching that movie and then thinking about myself and how I used to feel about her. Like, Queen, I am so sorry, you know? Now I'm going in with some blush. Going with Pink Passion by ABH. And I actually started doing this before I do my highlight and then after my bronzer just because, I don't know, I feel like it blends in um, a lot nicer for me actually. And for highlight, I'm just going to go in, <laughs> the vase I made right now, um, <laughs> to, I'm going to go into this highlight and this highlight mixed together. Alright, I can't tell if I'm okay with this lighting or not. Or if it was better in the dark but i can see me 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 eyeballs i can see me eyeball. i can see my my face a lot better in this lighting so i'm gonna try it out and hopefully it doesn't look bad i'm just going in with the abh primer on my eyeballs i think i'm gonna start off with this dark green shade right here it's called hope and this is from the best life 2 palette since today i'm feeling green i think i'm gonna take that dark green and pat it right here and this brush is just a brush that comes in the little ABH palettes I actually really like the brushes in them they're really good for packing on color with the same brush I'm just gonna go into that neon green color and I think I'm just gonna go in And I might add a little bit of yellow just to like get a really nice lime green on the edges. I'm going to grab more of that dark green with the fluffy end of the brush. And I'm slowly starting to blend it and increase the amount of dark green that's on my crease. Slowly but surely. Back into that lime green. Um, I'm going to start continuing to blend out the edges and then you'll see I'm like slowly just kind of bringing it up further and further up. I want to make sure um, that I'm using the lid space that I have, you know? I feel like, especially when you're first starting off with makeup, you tend to keep it you know, in a smaller area of your eyeball, like the eyeshadow and whatnot, and you got kind of scared to like, you know, really, really take advantage of the space you have. I know obviously that's not true for everyone because not everyone has the same amount of lid space, but at least, you know, for me, I've noticed that. 
I'm feeling a little bit risky, so I think I'm gonna go in just with a black shade. You can use any black you have. I'm literally putting this on right down here. So I wanna make sure that this black is not gonna overtake the whole thing. I'm gonna do this off camera because I feel like it helps me concentrate better, but um, I'm gonna cut my crease and I'm gonna be using concealer because I'm using neon pigments today. Um, well, just one for my eyelid. So I will be right back after I cut my crease. I finished cutting my crease and I am going to go in with my lid color. I'm going to be using this. I think I'm going to mix, um, not mix, but use both of these. Both the neon green and the neon sh um, yellow shade. And this is actually um, a neon pigment stack from Lunatics. I really, really love this pigment stack. I've done a few looks already with this. It's so, so bright, and it's so beautiful. Yeah, I think just using the green is going to look super nice. Slowly add it so that it connects to the dark green and black mixture. Definitely, I'm going to add this. This is a yellow shimmer shade, Gnarly, from the Yellow Fusion palette by Profusion. And I feel like it's just really tying everything together to add yellow in the inner corner to highlight and then also to add a little bit on the brow bone as well and it'll just highlight that yellow that you already placed up here all right so in order to connect um you know like that black in here so that i can have it be a little bit more smoky i'm gonna add a little bit of gel liner so yeah i'm literally just doing that and then i'm gonna Connector here, pack a little bit more of that dark green on so that it's not looking like super harsh black. Okay, so these lashes. I would I would wear this when I go out. I would wear this for a festival. Especially for festivals, this is the kind of drama you want. Like you like just go off, you know? Um Wow. Yeah, let me show you guys. Look at that. Look at that. That's so pretty. <gasps> Last thing is lips. I am going to be using a um, pencil. And this is actually a coal, like, eyeliner kind of pencil. This is by Wet n Wild. I got it because it was a dollar. And because it's huge. So it will last a while. I'm just going to use this to line my lips. And it's very creamy. I already swatched it and everything. And now I'm going to go in with Peachy. And this is by ABH. I just really, really want like a nice ombre lit. Alright, so this look, I love it. It's something new. It's something I haven't really tried before. I like it. I love this, this brown like ombre lit. I love it. I'm going to show you guys with the back camera. And then look at this. Alright guys, so I forgot to end the video. I did manage to straighten my hair, so I really really like this look actually with my hair all done and everything. I hope you guys like this and I hope this video was helpful and that I gave you guys some new products to try out, hopefully. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. We'll see you guys next time, hopefully please. Watch my videos, please. Give me purpose. Please.